Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm up here at deer camp. In fact, this is the last night of deer camp for me. Tomorrow I'm packing everything up and heading back home. And I'm, a lot of people have uh, asked on the uh, community Facebook page and in comments and videos, when's the deer hunting video coming up? So I wanted to explain when that is coming up. And also we've had so many requests for merchandise and Zach has been working really hard on this project and I think it's time to launch some of this probably within the next week. So as far as the deer hunting video goes, uh, it'll be, usually it's three parts. I'll do, because I usually am here, like opener through like Wednesday, and Zachary goes home on Sunday, Sarah goes home on Tuesday, and then usually Wednesday I'll end the video. Anyway, this year I went the whole entire week because people wanted a longer video. Anyway, the video ended up being, I think it's just a couple minutes over three hours, which is absolutely crazy. But anyway, when I usually, I use Adobe Premiere Elements 2019, and I usually do it in the quick line, which is a scene line. And everything was fine. I got to the very last clip. I was standing outside, um, and I said, uh, this is, you know, not the video that's being filmed right now. This is, right now I'm doing part two or the final, you know, the final hunt. And so I got that video where thanks a lot for watching everybody, blah, blah, blah. And I clicked save. I do a file and a save up here. And I had a blue screen crash. And it happened twice during the video. but And it came right back up, so it wasn't that big of a deal. Well, this time, no matter what I did, I could not get my scene line to come back up. All I had left of it was you know, driving down the road like I always do, you know, and, you know, see you guys on the next video. So I, I restarted my computer. I shut my computer off and let it sit for hours when I was in the deer stand, come back, can't get it to load. So I thought I was going to have to do the whole thing over again. And if that was the case, I was fed up. I was going to end it after Sarah left and then do so part one, then a part two, and then this weekend would be a part three. But anyway, then I could click on an expert and... Then, all of a sudden, I get my timeline, which is fine, but I don't deal with the timeline much, and I really should switch over to doing it this way. So, anyway, I, I, now I saved the video, and then I'm going through because I went and put my transitions in, and with the uh, timeline versus the scene line, when I put a transition in here, it um, put a put one down on each side on the sound also on the whatever that would be the audio line whatever they call it and there's no way to delete all those so and I have 980 video clips in this video and so that means there's 16 uh, over 1700 of these little uh, transitions I'll show you Right here, let's see. See those two little ones at the bottom of that clip? I have to remove both of those because it's really stupid when it transitions uh, from one clip to the other and the sound goes down and comes back up. It took me an hour to figure out what I didn't like about it. When I put the transitions in, I could do it all at one time, but there is no way to remove them all so that I could then learn that, okay, I needed to just put them on the top. So anyway, I'm going through like this, and then I push shift, and I click one. That's the ring doorbell. Melissa's going out to feed the rabbits. And I click on these individually. And then once I get to the end of this, I then left click and delete them. <laughs> so anyway, it's going to take me some time. And uh, so... Once that's done, I will get it all rendered and then watch the three hour video to make sure that it's okay and fix any mistakes or whatever. And then I will start the upload. So we're looking at hopefully, um, I don't know, right after Thanksgiving probably for this one to get done. And then I can do, then I have one to do at the farmhouse for Northern Seclusion Channel because that one coincides with this one. 
And then this video, which will be a much shorter video, I'll get that one up also. On the merchandise, there will be t-shirts and this stuff can, I think there's mugs and bumper stickers and there is large, a lot of people were asking for large sizes. Some of the uh, females were asking for like a, I don't know if it was a tank top type, whatever. But anyway, there's a bunch of stuff there. And Zach will actually do a video that actually launches this. But I wanted to make sure that it was known because I've said it on the community Facebook page that it's coming up. But I think there's only like 94 or 9,600 people that follow that. And, you know, so it's not getting to the 200 and... 30,000 or whatever subscribers that are on Joe and Zach's survival. There are more shirts than this. I know that there are these two, that one I just showed you out there, and uh, these are just ones that I have up here with me. This shirt right here, uh, we're still working on this one. And uh, this is the one that I really want, is just one that has a little logo on the side and I you know I, I apologize to Zach because I am just anal on it has to be perfect and this no matter what we do with this one I'm not happy with it so it's like you know what let's just do merchandise right now and put it out there because if we do the winter trip you can put out a winter trip shirt um, just different things to keep it going through time but this one here is really important to me so I'm pulling this one out and this one will come at, just at a later time, once I figure it out, or Zach and I figure out what it is that we really want. And I apologize if I seem kind of choppy doing this video, but I just like doing an unboxing video or something like that. I absolutely cannot stand it. My way of doing videos is this is what I'm doing, follow me, you know, and either you do or you don't, but trying to do something with merchandise or anything it's just not my cup of tea but if you guys want to support the channel it would be greatly appreciated i know you're already watching the commercials from start to finish without clicking through them but you know this would be a little bit easier okay everyone well thanks a lot for watching i'm so glad that this video is done i was not looking forward to this now i can go back to filming Deer hunting 2021, the final hunt. I will see you guys on the next video.